On July 26, the Israeli Defense Forces IDF, deployed M109 Doher howitzers near the separation line with Lebanon. The deployment of the howitzers became the latest in a series of broad measures employed by the IDF near Lebanon recently. Earlier, the 13th Gideon Infantry Battalion of the IDF's elite 1st Golani Brigade reinforced troops near the border. The number of Israeli Hermes 450 drone reconnaissance flights also significantly increased over southern Lebanon. Additional IDF units were also deployed in the occupied Syrian Golan Heights. On top of this, the IDF announced that it will hold the Lebanese government responsible for all actions emanating from Lebanon. These measures followed the July 20th Israeli strike on Syria, which resulted in the death of a member of Lebanese Hezbollah. Over the past years, Hezbollah has been one of the main supporters of Syrian army operations against ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Tel Aviv increases its strikes on what it calls Hezbollah and Iranian-affiliated targets in Syria every time when the Syrian army launches active operations against terrorists and seems to be very concerned by the possibility of a Hezbollah response to the July 20th attack. If Israel is really set to conduct strikes on Hezbollah targets in Lebanon to the retaliatory action by Hezbollah, this scenario could easily evolve into a wider, broader confrontation between Hezbollah and the IDF.